Hello everyone and welcome back to 5 Fun Things, the 1000 subscriber special. The special, because the last one I made was 4 years ago, and I figured what better game than the newly released Ratchet & Clank Rifts Apart. An amazing game you should play if you have a PS5 and $70, for maybe 20 hour experience, but I still recommend it. Okay, let's get into the list. Coming at number 1 is Meeting the Multiverse. So, spoilers by the way, but the whole game has a lot to do with exploring parallel dimensions, and a gun you get in the game is the Rhino 8, after collecting all the spy bots. And what it does is it pulls objects from dimension portals and squishes enemies with it. But if you upgrade it enough, you'll start to pull objects from other dimensions into yours. And with this, you start meeting characters from across the Sony games universe. You meet interesting characters like Zelda, Rocket Raccoon and his van, Donatello, Goddard, Sackboy, and even more. Build your army now, except for the fact that they disappear after a few seconds. Moving on to number two, Garden Extraordinaire. I'll say it now, this game looks awful. I want to barf every time I look at it with these bland graphics and uninspired landscapes. How do you remedy this? Flowers. Pull out the Toxiary Sprinkler and make amazing garden sculptures that'll put Edward Scissorhands to shame. Get a bunch of angry enemies and turn them into amazing grassy sculptures to bring beauty to this world. And number three is an actual spoiler for the ending, so you've been warned. You fought Dr. Nefarious, then met and fought Emperor Nefarious, but there is one more Nefarious to fight. At the end of the game when fighting Emperor Nephi, if you hit him with a skeletal Gunther with the Rhino, he'll run away like a baby and send out Immortal Nefarious, who looks identical to the Emperor and comes out with only 1% health and will not die no matter how much ammo you plug into his face. It's rumored that Rivet is still fighting him to this day, so be cautious on your fight against the Immortal. Now to tone it back a bit at number 4, this is one everyone will love, Pet the Dogs. Under category K9, Sector 001, subcategory Cuteness, in the video game guidelines, Every video game requires at least one dog-like creature to be pettable. Now it may seem like with the robot dogs you are killing them, but if you really think about it, if you had a metal plate in your head and someone tried to pet you, would you feel it? Of course not. If they bashed you with a wrench or a hammer, you might feel something. But really you have to smack them to pet them so they'll actually feel it. Which is why they're always trying to bite you to get your attention to pet them. And the last thing to do is very simple. It's become a god. Even more powerful than immortal nefarious, collect all the shiny gold nuts scattered across the planets to ascend to godhood with infinite health, infinite ammo, gold plate your guns, super smash KO enemies, make birthday parties with their headshots, and give yourself a big head to become the most menacing creature in the universe. Or in this game's case, all universes. And that's five fun things to do in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. If you have any fun things you like to do, leave a comment below about it, and uh, thanks for watching this stupid video. Yeah, thanks again for a thousand subs, it means a lot to me. Never thought I'd achieve that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to do whatever down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one in four more years. Bye everyone.